Hey guys, Channel P here. I'm Nico. And I'm King. And we're the Opinionated Pirates. And today, on this One Hit Manga segment, we'll be looking at a book we were pretty excited mm -hmm. for. Uh, a new spin-off series called Code Black. It sells at work. It's, um, it was really, it is really mature, so... It's um, rat stuff. Yeah. So if I also list some more mature themes, uh, if you haven't checked out our previous video on the regular sells at work series, then I definitely just go checking out the, checking that out. Because this series, with it being in I guess the spinoff, it just jumps right in. To say it doesn't really spend time talking about these characters that you would, it seems that have already been established. Yeah, it goes in making sure you already, well, it goes in thinking that you already know what a red blood cell does, what a white blood cell does, what all these other helper T cells do. It just focuses on everything new and its own little story. Yeah, and it does introduce a, a few new ones. We have the hepatocyte cell, the ADH enzymes, the cuffer cell, the sertori cells, the spermites or spermigotes, how we say it, and then the gonorrhea bacteria. But I guess uh, one way they, they set this one apart is they, they swap the genders of mm -hmm. all the cells in this one. Uh, I guess just kind of, like I said, to help differentiate it from it. It does follow some more adult... Uh, issues that you might come across so like the you have smoking the alcohol effects on the liver uh erectile dysfunction gonorrhea and overworking which is probably the most human one i don't know i really enjoyed that one a lot because it showed the cells getting all crazy and overreacting and like i think we can all relate to that one. Oh yeah and i felt so bad for the cells at the end because they come up, they finally stop him, and they're like, you can stop, you could take a break, and the guy just busts out crying as if, like, he's just so happy to finally be off. Yeah, and I will say, one of the, the minor nitpicks I said if I had to pick any with the, la the original series, it didn't seem to follow linear structure, you could have kind of just jumped in wherever. Mm -hmm. um, this one definitely does, because it follows this red blood cell, and kind of like, how would you put it? His struggle of really identifying, like, why is he doing this job despite everything falling apart around him and everything else is falling apart? Yeah, and every little or every chapter it just gets worse. Like he goes, he thinks he has a little bit of life, there's light in there, but it's just like another another wall in the way, another thing of like why he should be doing this. There's so many people against him. The other cells are just a or like constantly getting mad at him for not giving him stuff. Yeah. Because it's just his job of having to focus on the important sides, not the little every other sides and he just has to take the abuse over and over two of the really standout moments in this one for me is the alcohol on the liver like it, it shows what it does to the cells but then it, it also shows after effects with mm -hmm. them and i guess putting those in more human terms i guess you feel like that more of an emotional connection to like damn like this is what it, i'm really doing to my cells yeah um <laughs> the one i guess you see it's kind of funny but they go over, uh, I said they, they go over like ED, and the whole thing is like you're helping the sperm like get released, and you know, the red blood cell, he's all happy, like yay, yeah. they're going, they're gonna fulfill their purpose, and then another cell just turns around, it's like, well, you know, sometimes such a pleasure is just done just to be done, and he's like, well, what do you mean? And it's like, oh, it doesn't mean it's always done for reproduction, and he just breaks down. He yeah. loses. He's like, are you telling me that they think they're going to fulfill their purpose, and they're not? Like, that's the whole sole reason for their existence and they're not fulfilling it and yeah. i guess just to, and he tried so hard too just yeah. to, just to give just to give the person an erection and as, hard, as weird as that sounds like the, he was trying to rush the blood he was really the one pushing and being like we need to keep going yeah like all the red blood cells are like yeah we need to push keep doing it you know like it sounds funny but then it breaks it down into those really human like emotions mm -hmm. where it's like well well damn Dude, like it sucks. Yeah, it's like I put all this effort into this one thing to help this other self fulfill its purpose, and now I feel now I just found out all my work went to nothing. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be the kind of running theme within this one is just how much do you keep giving when nothing seems to be giving back, and your world's falling apart. I don't know. Like how did how did how did you feel about it? I mean, it was one compared to the regular bl or cells at work where it's just happy and like interesting to get a whole, or figure out everything's working. This one, I felt bad for the guy. I felt bad for the bot the guy he's in. He go like the guy himself is just having so many issues. He's overstressed. He's losing his hair. Has gotten Rhea. He has ED. 
It's like, I felt bad for that dude, and then all the cells themselves, like, literally at the beginning, he's just like, this is such a hostile work environment. And, I mean, I've, I've been there at times with some of my jobs. It's like, I felt bad being there, and why am I even here? But for him, it's like, that's his life. He can't leave. And he's stuck there, trying to make the best out of it. Yeah, it's more of like, he has to do his job or else he dies. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, in this one, you unlike the other one, where, like, cells get hurt, explosions, and stuff like that. And it really didn't... It kind of makes light of it, you know, because it's for that comedic effect. But in this one, the cell, cells die. Yeah. And they portray it as such. I mean, even with gonorrhea, I'm like, I'm sure, like... I mean, I got to kind of laugh at it reading it. Yeah. Um, but when it goes into, like, the toll that the white blood cells take in them dying... You know, because obviously when white blood cells die, that's usually what pus is. That's mm -hmm. what pus is. So they have, like, I guess you say, like... The, the Viking effigy where they put on the boats and like mm -hmm. sail them down like you know what in real life what it is but when it portrays it in that manner it's you know it's it's I'm not gonna lie it's disheartening yeah like to see like oh wow you know those those are all dead cells like for all of like one simple mistake on the human's body part and like yeah the person's paying for it but the cells are paying for it more because they're, they're, their whole job is to keep that person alive and that person is just like whatever I hate you yeah, and even with the other cells during that time, it's like there's literally just dead white blood or white blood cells out there, and the other cells are just like they're not even doing their job and just still criticizing the other cells. I feel like this one might hit home a little bit more. As I said, the themes are a lot more adult. I still love it. if you like that cells at work, the original cells at work, and I mean you'll you'll like this Code Black. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. You, I mean I did. Uh, I mean like the last one, I still give it five out of five because yeah. I still love it. <laughs> five out of five for me too. Really looking forward, especially since it's a long running story and you're following this red blood cell. I want to see what else is going to happen and his whole journey for, through the body. Yeah. So, well, like I said, we'll be we'll be keeping track of this one pretty closely. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, watch this another wonderful video of ours. Uh, if you want to join the OP crew, then hit that subscribe button down below. I think it's over there somewhere. Um, so you stay updated with all our videos. If you want instant notifications of when we put videos out, then go ahead and hit that red bell at the top. If you liked the video, then we'd generously like a like down there. Um, and let us know if you read the book, um, if you're interested in checking it out. Tell us down below in the comments, uh, how did you feel? Um, did it really hit that hard or did you just find it more humorous than anything? You no, know, we, we'd like to know. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, you know, I'm Nico. And I'm King. And we're the Opinionated Pirates, sailing off.